Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide YouTube channel. Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video, we're gonna see how to configure SSL certificate in Microsoft Exchange 2019. An Exchange server communicate with uh, other servers, applications, and clients over the network in a variety of protocols like HTTP, SMTP, POP, and IMAP. And in this communication involves authentication based on username and passwords. Sending such sensitive information over the network in a clear plain test can be read by an attacker. So to ensure a secure communication, Microsoft Exchange used SSL certificate to encrypt the network traffic between servers, application and clients. Configuring SSL certificate involves three steps. The first one is to create a certificate signing request from your Exchange server. Once you created a certificate signing request from your Exchange server, the next step is to upload the CSR, the certificate signing request, into a certification authority. For example, DigiKey or GoDaddy, you can use any of those. Once the GoDaddy or DigiCert or any certification authority approved your SSL certificate, then you can download the certificate and install it in your Exchange server. After that, the communication between your Exchange server application and clients will be encrypted using the SSL certificate over the network. The first step in configuring an SSL certificate is to create a certificate signing request. For that, open Exchange Admin Center and go to Servers, then go to Certificates. From here, click plus button to create a new certificate, then click Next, enter a friendly name here, then click Next. If you are going for a white card certificate, then you can select here and write your domain. In my case, I'm not going for a white card certificate. So I just skip it. Then select your exchange server, then click next. Following up the domain addresses that your exchange server use to communicate with the clients and applications. So this values should come inside the uh, SSL certificate. So when you click next, you can see the summary here. I'm going to skip uh, Exchange 2019 because it's a host name. I'm not going to use the host name for any of the communications. Then fill up the organization and department details. Then click next. Here you have to give a share folder location so that you can save the certificate signing request. Here I'm going to save in the C drive. I have already a shared folder here. Give a name for the certificate signing request and make sure you put an extension REQ as shown in the example. Then click finish. Now a CSR has ready in your shared folder. Let's go and check it out. The next step is to upload the CSR into a certificate authority and get your SSL certificate. In this demonstration, I'm going to use GoDaddy. So open GoDaddy website and you can see protect one website or protect multiple website or protect all subdomain using a wildcard. I'm going to use protect multiple website. The wildcard is in case if you have many uh, subdomains for the domain, then you can use protect all subdomains using wildcard. Most of the case, the protect multiple website is enough to run an SSL certificate for your exchange server. Then it's asking the number of sites you required. I'm going to select the least one, number five, then going for standard SSL DB. You can see the price in the right side. Based upon your organization interest, choose one of the certificate and select a term length for one year or two year, then click continue. Now you can pay for the certificate. Once you complete the payment, go to my products. Then you will see all your products here. For example, you can see the SSL certificates listed under my account. For the first time, it will show you set up SSL certificate. As I already set it up, I'm going to show you through manage. 
now here you can add the CSR that we prepared so let's copy the CSR and uh, apply it here open the CSR with the notepad then copy the CSR characters you have to copy from begin new certificate request to end new certificate request Now paste your CSR copied from the file, then save it. Once you submit the CSR request, then the next step is verification. You have to pass the verification from GoDaddy or Digicert or the certificate authority provider. So for GoDaddy have two options, either you can add a text record in your DNS uh, uh, records or you will receive an email from one of the email showing here then you have to just approve from your email address so a one click will approve your SSL certificate request then you can download SSL certificate from GoDaddy or the authority those are gonna provide it for you so once it is approved you can download the certificate from here select a server type here it is exchange then download it now the certificate is ready the next step is to apply the certificate to your exchange server for that go to servers then click certificate you will see a pending request now we're gonna complete the pending request so click on complete then here you can import the certificate that we just downloaded so you can you have to copy those certificate into a shared location so you can point that shared location here for example my certificate is itproguide.com So I put itproguide.com and that is not enough. You have to put the extension also. Now click OK. Now you successfully imported your certificate. The next step is to assign the services to the certificate. So for that click edit button. Then go to services. From here, you can select the services that you wish to assign to this SSL certificate. Click yes. Now the SSL certificate has imported and assigned successfully. Next time when you open OVA, for example, you can see a SSL certificate on the tab. So this means the communication between your exchange server and clients are encrypted thanks for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel